Hello friends, do you want to build a sailboat? Well today I'm going to show you how to make this fun 10 inch sailboat block and I'm going to give you the cutting instructions both for um, using regular traditional rulers to cut with and also I will give you the uh, instructions for using AccuQuilt like I did to make your uh, pieces. Either way, it turns out to be really super cute block. So let's get started. Now I forgot to mention that you can either stop the video on those instructions and take a snapshot or you can wait and check the description box at the end of this video and I will have those instructions in there as well. Now I'm going to start by pairing up all of my half square triangles and then I'll take those over to the machine and then I'll just stitch those together using a quarter inch seam allowance and I'll just go ahead and chain piece those all together. Now if you're cutting your half square triangles the traditional way, I know there are many different ways to make those, uh, but you'll need to start with a three and a half inch square and then cut that diagonally. And then once you make your little block, square that up to three inches. But like I said, there are many different ways to make those. Just make sure that you wind up with a three inch square block when it's all said and done. Now I like to press my seams open on those little half square triangles. I just think it makes it lie a lot flatter. So I will be doing that for all of my half square triangles. You see how I'm placing those uh, against the rectangle where the those little ends of the boat are facing upwards. The corner part is facing upwards. So make sure that you sew it that direction. Then I'm just attaching the boat piece to the water piece. My water fabric is directional. I have those little sharks. Some are going sideways and some of them are going uh, vertically. So I want to make sure that I have that going the correct direction. There are so many possibilities for the little uh, water you can have fishes in there or just swirls or whatever. It makes a really cute block. Now I'm just pairing up my cell parts, which are the white with the little blue dots with the, some background pieces. Those will have square triangles, opening them up again to make my little uh, four cells for my boat.
I have one little seam that I got crooked. It was wider on one end than on the other, so I'll have to pick that out and redo it. Make sure when you lay your little cells out, they are all facing the same direction. And there's my boat piece attached to my little shark infested waters. And now you'll see those little cells starting to come together. I ran out of my little two and a half inch squares that I've been sewing together to make four patches in between my other uh, seams. So I just cut a couple little pieces of fabric and just use it for a leader and ender there. I'll have to cut some more of those out. I'll just stitch those two little sections together to form my little uh, four cell piece. And I'll just take that and press it out. And all I have to do is add those two background uh, rectangles on either end of that. I had to just give it a little mist from my uh, starch and water model just to make it lie flat. stitch those in pieces on now. This time I'm going to just open the seam up toward the rectangles because there are no other seams in those. So they will lie nice and flat. And then I'm just ready to attach those upper and lower parts of my block. I will go ahead and stick a pin in there at the seams so that I can make sure and get those lined up correctly.
Now you certainly don't have to open your seam on this one, but I decided to go ahead and do that because I have seams uh, for both sides coming together. But that's just a preference. And then I will trim my block down to 10 inches. But yours might be a little bigger than that. You may have used a little bit smaller uh, quarter inch seam. But just make sure all of your blocks are trimmed to the same size. Try not to cut off your points so that you can have those intact. All right, y'all have a great day. Uh, in part two, I will show you what I decided to do for my sashings. And, uh, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Have a very blessed day.